Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to be playing with some of my current favorite makeup and I also have a few new things here as well. So stay tuned if you want to see more and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Okay, so starting out with primer, I've been trying the Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. Now I've only used it like twice and it's it's strange. So it says here that it is a rich primer loaded with peptides and hyaluronic acid that nourishes and helps hydrate skin and leaves a dewy finish. So it's like this clear liquid. There we go. So you can see it's clear and it looks kind of gooey. I don't even know how to explain it. Like it almost feels uh, oily? I don't know, it's very strange. <sighs> I'm not into dewy foundations though, like super dewy foundations, because I need my makeup to last for a long time and I find that dewy foundations don't really have the longevity. So that's why I'm looking into like before and after products, so dewy primers or dewy setting sprays instead. I also find with this one I do need to leave it for a couple of minutes to kind of dry down, otherwise it is a bit too slippery on the skin. Next I like to go in with my NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I am obsessed with this and Although my under eye circles aren't really that dark, this actually makes a really big difference. So I just get in there with my finger and tap that under the eye. Like, look at the difference between the two eyes already. And then to color correct any breakouts, I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Camo and my NYX Soft Matte Concealer. So with this one, I just put a little bit on the really, really red breakouts. Because my foundation is so fair, there's not a lot of pigment there to help cover the redness. So color correcting is a really good idea if you've got a lot of breakouts and you've got super fair skin. All right, so then I go in with this Real Techniques buffing brush and just pat that green into the skin. And then I take a little bit of my NARS concealer and pop that over all the places I color corrected. I recommend correcting your breakouts like this as well because that way you're not packing on too much foundation to try and cover them and it's not going to look heavy and cakey. For foundation, I have been using the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid, and I have this in the shade 110 Porcelain. Now the shade is a little bit off. It's very cool undertone, so it's really pink, whereas I'm more neutral cool. So what I like to do is add a pump of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, and this is in the shade Pale. This shade is too light for me on its own, so it's a great mixing shade. I did try the Revlon on its own and the formula just, it's nice, it has a really nice natural finish, but it's not as long lasting as I would like. So adding in the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop really, really helps the longevity of this one. Also, this Revlon foundation only comes with 22 mils, so I feel like I am flying through it. And I've still been loving my Eco Tool sponge, so in with that to blend it out. So this is what that looks like just with one layer. It does have really good coverage. I can still see a few of my blemishes, but if I go in with the second layer, then it's a full coverage foundation combination. The NYX foundation helps with a bit of extra coverage and obviously lightening the foundation up, but I'm still getting that natural finish from the Revlon. For concealer, I have been loving the new e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. 
I managed to find this at Kmart, thanks to Courtney over on Instagram. I posted saying that it was finally available on the Elf Australia website, but it was like $15 and I had to pay for shipping. And Courtney messaged me saying Kmart has it for $10. So, you know, I canceled my order through Elf, went to Kmart and found these for $10. Now, I did just upload a review of this concealer, so I will link it down below if you want to hear more. I don't want to spoil it too much, but I love it, okay? I love it. So I'm going in with the shade Fair Beige. So then I'm taking some of the shade Fair Warm, which is a little bit lighter, and I'm going to put a tiny bit of that on. Amazing, just amazing. So to set this in place, I'm going in with my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil. I really have no other powders that I have been loving lately. Like this is just the light of my life at the moment. I still go in very lightly with the sponge though, like I don't pack on the powder. All right, that is the base complete. For bronzer, I've been loving my Maybelline City Bronzer and this is in the shade Light Cool. This is a really, really light bronzer. It reminds me most of the Better Fit Hoola Light. Really buildable though, so great if you've got super fair skin like me and you're a little bit nervous to bronze, this is a really good place to start. Oh my God, last night I was literally binging on Kathleen Lights and Jesse Smiles on all their collabs together. Holy shoot, they are so freaking funny. There was this one video where they did a Mad Libs um, challenge or whatever. And oh my God, Kathleen put on this accent and was <laughs> I was crying. Like when I laugh really hard, I get like this squeal happening and like I find it hard to breathe. That's literally what was happening. So hilarious. If you love Kathleen Lights and want to laugh, I suggest searching up their collabs because holy shit. <laughs> I don't have a new favorite blush. I'm still obsessed with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coral. There's just something about this. The shade is perfect for me. It has this really nice sheen that it leaves. It just looks so healthy and glowy. I love it, I love it, I love it. In my Priceline haul, I did show you guys that I picked up the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush. Now, I do like the formula of it and it has a nice finish, but the color, I just don't think it suits my fair skin. It's very peachy and it kind of just makes me look a bit dirty, to be honest. So I've been trying to work with it and, you know, see if I can figure it out, but I just don't think the color is suited for my skin tone. Look at the difference between the two. I definitely prefer a more pinky, coral-toned blush. Sometimes I get a little bit messy with my bronzer and blush, so I just like to take a pressed powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I used to love this powder. And I take my sponge, just dip it in the powder, and then I can draw a faint line. It's not as harsh as it would be using a loose powder. For highlighter, I don't know if I've mentioned this on YouTube yet, but I am obsessed with this Mecca Cosmetica Enlighted Lit From Within Illuminating Balm. So this highlighter comes in this little jar, and as the title suggests, it's more of a balm. So the look that it leaves is just, oh my God, it looks so glowy. Gl glowy, did I just say that weird? Glowy. So I take the bum of my sponge and just dip it in there. And then I like to squeeze the sponge so I can be more precise and just tap that onto my cheekbones. <laughs> like what? It just makes the cheekbones look wet. Like it's that glass skin 
kind of highlighted look. I find the shade to be just a smidge too dark. Like when I'm looking front on, I can kind of see a bit of a dark, a dark cast, but from the side, like. <sighs> And then when I feel an extra, which is most days, I take my Fenty How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb Highlighter. And I like to use this with my Sigma F03 High Cheek Highlighter Brush and take a little bit of that and pat it onto the highlighter. Before I move on to the eyes, I'm just going in with my Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. I have been loving this. So I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz. So I always like to do my brows before my eyeshadow. So I've got the NYX Micro Brow Pencil here. I'm just going to brush them up. My brows are so gross at the moment. I'm getting them done this afternoon. Thank God. So then I take the pencil side and draw a line underneath. Mostly at the front here where it's really sparse. And then I lightly draw upward strokes to fill that in. By the way, I'm just using this pencil because it's in my collection. It's not really a current favorite, but I just ran out of my Maybelline Total Temptation, which you should all know I love. All right, so just lightly fill underneath the arch here. I don't really worry too much about the tail. And then on top, I just fill in a little bit and draw in that arch. So then the magic happens with this product here. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint Pen, and it looks like a felt tip eyeliner. Let me zoom you in. So I just like to go in and flick it up and draw little hair-like strokes. This is what makes my brows look more real. Like they actually look hairy. I just lightly run a spoolie through it. I don't want to go too hard on the pressure because then it will blend out all the little strokes that I just drew on. So clearly my brows are very messy at the moment, like. <laughs> so ignore that. But this brow pen has literally changed my life. I'm obsessed with it. Urban Decay recently come out with one where it's got a pencil on one side, like on the NYX one here and then the felt tip on the other. So I've been trying to get my hands on it, but the shade I was after was out of stock when I went into store. And then I had a look online today and all the shades were out of stock. So that's annoying. And then recently I picked up the new Anastasia Beverly, Hell, Beverly Hills, oh my, Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And this is in the shade Blonde. I have been flipping loving this. So the wand on it is nice and tiny. This is what it looks like, so you can be super precise, and this brow gel, once you put it in, your brows aren't going anywhere, okay? They are staying in place for the rest of the day. So I just like to lightly brush this in. It also tints any blonde hairs. Okay, so brows are done. They are looking quite messy, so I'm going to go in and clean it up with some concealer. But as I said, they just need a wax, so that's the only real answer here. So I like to first apply the concealer on my eyelid with a flat concealer brush so that I can tidy up under my brows. And then I go in with my Sigma Precision Flat Angled Brush. And this is just like a really tightly packed, dense, kabuki looking brush. Wow, that was terrible. A terrible explanation. But then I use this to blend the concealer out on my lid. I'm not going to set this with powder either. And this is my base for my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette I have to play with today is very colorful. This is the Temi X Revolution Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. Now I had never heard of Tammy. I saw this eyeshadow palette, fell in love, and then went onto her channel and had a browse, and she's actually really cool, so I subscribed. 
Now, I don't know oh, what colors I want to go for. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm just going to do like a blue green look that I saw Tammy do on her Instagram. I'm going to have to be really careful and hope that I don't get fall out everywhere because this probably wasn't the best idea doing my base first. So that is one eye done. For mascara, I have been obsessed with the Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. So this is the one where the wand actually moves. So you can twist it to be straight or to be bent. I prefer it just straight. I've really been off the false lashes lately, but I feel like this look is quite bold. It definitely needs some lashes. I'm just going to go in with these ones from the Ilua Luxe range. They are in the style opulent. Lashes are on. I'm going to go ahead and complete the other eye and I will be right back. I am so damn impressed with this palette. Like there was a little bit of fallout, especially on like the side of my nose here. It's like tinted blue, but these shadows are blended so so easily into each other and the shimmers I didn't even have to use fix plus like this is just them <sighs> all right so moving on to lipstick my favorite at the moment has been the Astralis girl boss in the shade couture I hold this one in my recent Priceline video I've been using it so much I must have been a bit too rough because yesterday when I used it look what I did snapped it so that's really freaking annoying but I can still use it with a lip brush so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to start off by lining my lips with the Maybelline Color Sensational in the shade Nude Whisper I can still kind of apply it I just have to be gentle. And then I go in with this lip brush, or it's a concealer brush, it's the Morphe M421, and just tidy around the edges. I'm also going to take a little bit of this Revolution Lip Topper and just pop that in the middle. All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today and learning about some of my current favorite makeup. If you have any questions, make sure you just leave me a comment down below. Also, let me know if you would like to see any more looks with the Temi and Revolution eyeshadow palette because oh, I am excited for it. If you're new here, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe if you want to. I will also link my Instagram down below where you can see more photos of the makeup looks I do and little Instagram tutorials. All right, well, I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.